16. Oh, okay. Yeah, he just what turned 16 this week. He was at Rainbow Springs for a few years, and uh, five years ago he came here. So he's been he's been living with us ever since. Um, so yeah, these are the longest snakes in Asia, North America. Mm. Um, you'll, see, you'll see larger snakes down south in the Everglades, but those are introduced. Uh, he's six foot eleven. The females uh, can get to be eight feet long. So it's a big boy. So yeah, um, they're just so big. Hey, buddy. So he's a he's a colubrid, a colubridae. So there's three major uh, branches of the snake family tree: colubridae, uh, elapidae, and viperidae. Yeah. So vipers, like rattlesnakes and cottonmouths, are viperidae. Uh, Lapidae are some common uh, like uh, racers and things like that. And then Colubridae has some other uh, venomous snakes like the uh, coral snake. But uh, this guy's not one of them. But he is he is uh, uh, pretty much immune to uh, the venom of uh, vipers. And people wonder how they uh, subdue prey. He's not a constrictor. Um, he sort of just uh, thrashes them around and then you know, subdues them, and then <laughs> they all go down. <laughs> oh, it's coming. It looks like yeah, he's going like to help them develop antibodies. What's that, sorry? If he's, they don't know how yeah, <coughs> he's okay with the planet, or the snakes, so could they study them to develop antibodies? Possibly, yeah. I, I don't know if that's been done, but uh, I think most of those those antivenoms already, have already been oh, right. come up with, yeah. That's a good, good uh, question. <laughs> so you've got all the same internal, internal organs as you and I. Um, he's got, some people think he doesn't have a spine. He's got a backbone just like you and me. It goes all the way down his body. His tail, hey buddy. His tail is actually right. Oh, he's not poisonous. He's not poisonous. Come on, buddy. Don't touch him. Yeah, don't touch him. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> his tail actually begins right here. His tail. Oh my gosh. When you get up close, you no. can see why they call him indigo. Yeah. yeah. He likes the shade. He's getting too hot, I think. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you can see that color. You can see the blue. Yeah. So pretty. It's gorgeous. This is too much black. Right. So you can get up closer. But uh, yeah, he's got a uh, heart and lungs. One of his lungs is vestigial, it's very small, and the other is very long. But look at my salt, we've got lots of sweat. <laughs> but yeah, he's getting pretty old, he has, uh, he has cataracts. Mm. But yeah, he'll do, he'll, he'll do a lot of things he, you know, you and I do. He yawns. Um, he uh, drinks water out of his bowl. It's pretty cool. He just sticks his head in and just laps it up like a dog. What does he eat? He eats, in the wild, they would eat pretty much anything smaller than them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, not tourists. Um, but uh, this guy, he's, uh, he's mostly used to, uh, you know, thawed out uh, rats and mice. Um, mm. They're already dead. Uh, we, they tried to feed him a, a live mouse once, and he didn't know what to do with it. So, <laughs> yeah, we lived in there with him for a while. How old is he? Sixteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, he just what turned sixteen this week. Uh, we think it's like thirty years. I don't know lifespan. Twenty some years. Twenty years. Yeah, but he's getting pretty old. He's getting some problems. Hey, buddy. So yeah. Take a little bit closer look if you want. Mm. You can't touch him, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's wow. so pretty. Yeah. Oh, you can hear him breathing too. <laughs> wow. Sometimes they get uh, like re upper respiratory problems. Aww. But I think he's okay right now. But where are you going? You can see his catch right. He's a beautiful color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People used to keep these as pets, you know, Native Americans and early settlers, they would keep them around as like a ratter mm -hmm. uh, and they would eat other uh, snakes and stuff like that around the area. Um, even in the 50s and 60s, these were very popular pets. They'd sell them here at Silver Springs. Mm -hmm. They'd have pretty girls, you know, walking around with them around their necks and mm -hmm. scaring Ooh. tourists. Um, <laughs> they I get scared. Them, but they are, they are one step below endangered, so if you ever see Somebody trying to sell you an indigo snake, say, no, no, <laughs> that's not legal. So, yeah. 
in the I building. I think it's like here on this picture. It's a great big one like that and the other one. Yeah. 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 We'll just get rid of those ones and leave it in there. So yeah, this is no Indy, our indigo snake. He's 16 years old. Doesn't want to see a snake? <laughs> Some people are really scared of snakes. I, I don't blame them. But a, a little bit of fear is okay. It's I mean, you just understand it and respect them, and that's that's fine. Stick around. <laughs>